Okay, back over there, it's hard to see because of the clouds, but that's where we're going to, is Browning Hill. Uh, it's about nine mile hike from here. Gonna leave us up on the ridge line, kinda in some wind and stuff, but you gotta do what you gotta do to get those views. It looks like a good spot to uh, drink beer, if you know what I mean. There it is, Browning Hill. That's where we're headed to. So now we gotta hike through all this stuff over here first to get to it. <laughs> well, the fire tower graffiti, at least they're being patriotic with it, I guess. <laughs> Oh, turned into a beautiful day for hiking. Sun's coming out, man. What, what more can you want? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll take it. Oh. Just met a very nice lady. Some other campers camping at the pond here on Browning Hill. Real nice lady. She works or she's part of the Knobstone Trail Association. So gave her my contact information to talk to her and see about if part of a trail maintained or something, you know. Almost at the nine mile mark. One little knob to go. Tap that knob. I'll crack open a beer, son. Hells yeah! Woo! Sorry, I got all excited. Uh, I'm here. Okay. Okay, well, my fire ring is still here, and uh, some branches were nice enough to fall over and die for me. Browning Hill, beautiful day. You can see the hills behind me, looking nice. <laughs> but anyway, I got the tarp, or not the tarp, the hammock set up. I was debating whether to put the tarp up or not. If nothing else, keep the wind off. But looking at the forecast, there's no rain forecast, so I'm rolling the dice. I'm going no tarp, just hammock, so I can sleep under the stars at night, you know what I'm saying? 
So say a prayer for me tonight. <laughs> well, so long to Brownie Hill and all its beautiful views. Now for the nine mile walk back. <laughs> this should be a piece of cake though. You gotta go down in the saddle, up Browning Hill. And then I come down Browning Hill and it's flat the rest of the way all the way back to Cabin. So the day ain't shit. Fun part, it's a little water crossing, but I think we're lucky. Uh, it's shallow enough right here, I can tiptoe through it and I get too wet. We'll see. Might have missing an old canoe. Holy cow. Wow. Look at that. Looks like a wood framed canoe. That is pretty cool. I don't know. I mean, it's just some kind of like kind of tarp kind of material stretched over the skin. It must have washed up somewhere during the the high water. That's pretty crazy. What do you think, Joe's? We salvage it? Huh. Yeah. yeah, it's like a it's like a real thin kind of canvas, you know. Some kind of a I don't know. Thin fiberglass kind of sheeting or something. Mm -hmm. 